Water connects the landscape in many ways. Water is a sculptor, eroding mountains and depositing sediments. Water is a solvent, dissolving minerals. Water is a vector of transport, moving chemicals and sediment through the ground and downstream. Water creates habitat, determining what kinds of life are possible in different places. By following the water through the landscape, we can see the connections between life and the physical environment in a different way. Water is connected to so many things. I mean, water is connected to environmental engineering. Water is connected to hydrogeology. Water is connected to atmospheric sciences. Water is connected to aquatic ecology. Water is connected with so many different things that it's hard to just put a, a circle around that and say, oh, I've got the water thing confined here. No, no, you haven't got this water thing confined because it's connected with all these other things. This watershed really has a series of traits that brings a confluence of scientific interests. The water is moving in multiple ways and it's being utilized by the plants and it's also helping facilitate chemical changes within the soil. Among other things, geochemistry looks at how rocks turn into soil. Geochemists look at data about water as part of that research. Anytime you have data series, the more data you have, the more scientists you have converging on stuff. And our goal is that we all build this synergy we build up these high-density data sets, and then we can all learn from each other. Water is here a connective tissue. By following water through watersheds, this connective tissue can make the same data useful to more people. There's been this explosion in wetland science in about the last five to 10 years, and it's all because we started saying, we've got to make it hydrologically based or we don't understand what's going on. If we didn't understand how that all worked together, we wouldn't understand the system at all. So a part of the whole new thing that we're doing is to say, yes, that is a connective tissue, and how can we really do that? How can we take not just groundwater and surface water and atmospheric water, but just water? Many scientific disciplines can come together around water. Everyone lives in a watershed. Learn more about where you live.